feel so much about this, and, and breast cancer does touch so many people. It, it, right. People seem to know someone. And Reba, you just accepted an award recently. Yes. You know, when we were, Tara was with me when uh, Virginia Breast Foundation uh, gave us this award, and they asked people, do you know someone who was affected by cancer? The whole room had their hand up because it affects so many of us. And that one thing I love about Buddy Check Six, we show survivors, to show people, people still have lives mm -hmm. after breast cancer. It's not over once they have their surgery, but they have lives. Well, Tara, I was reading your article. You wrote an article in the New Richmond Family Magazine, and I was reading it before we came out here. And of course, you were working here with us when you were diagnosed, yeah. and your first instinct was, it chokes me up, that it was a death sentence. Yeah. I'm, you know, I immediately thought of my kids, of mm -hmm. course, and I just didn't know that much about cancer, and I thought, I have cancer, I'm going to die. Yeah. I'm going to die young, and these kids aren't going to have a mom. And, mm -hmm. and you know, it took a good two weeks to find the scope of, of the cancer, and it was a really, really terrible two weeks. So mm -hmm. thankfully, um, it hadn't progressed very far, and we were able to treat it. But it's, it's very scary to hear those words. And according to the article, you're now cancer-free. I am. I'm cancer-free, and, and today I'm cancer-free, and I hope that stays the same. But, you know, that's the life of a cancer survivor. You always have that, that, that voice in the back of your head. You know, hoping you stay that way. And one of the things you do talk about in the article is how this affected your family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, you know, telling my mom was one of the hardest things that I had mm -hmm. to do. Um, and watching my sisters and my husband and my kids react. And I I knew I, I, I got this. Like, I had that feeling, like, right. I can do this. But I think it's harder for your loved ones to watch you go through something like that. I was really touched by the part when your, your children were young, obviously they're still young, where you said, okay, I experienced adults that were sick when I was growing up, yeah. not knowing made you anxious. It did. So you told them what was going on, mm -hmm. and I love that you said your mom came downstairs <laughs> the next morning, and she didn't know that you yeah. had told your daughter, and she said, Mom, Mom's getting medicine for her boob, and it's going to make her hair fall out. Yes. <laughs> and she was just like flat out ready with it. That is a direct quote, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wanted to explain it to her in words that she could understand uh -huh. because it's jarring to have it your is. hair fall out. I'm, you know, and I wanted her to be prepared for that and she absorbed what I told her and she understood. So. And children are resilient they are. and, and they they are. you can be honest with them. Mm -hmm. Reba, this has been an educational um, journey for you as yes, well, hasn't yes. it? Yes, and just, you know, continuing Stephanie's legacy because she was just so passionate about this, but just encouraging women to really know their bodies, to do their self-breast exam. We say it all the time. Time, and that's one of the purposes of Buddy Check 6. But Tara's a good example of that because she decided to get checked because she put a sports bra on mm -hmm. and it felt different. A doctor wouldn't know that. You would know that yeah. because it feels different to you. So that's why we really encourage women to do that. But yeah, it's been an incredible journey to learn and, and just to meet so many people. Well, who'd, who'd have thunk too that you would end up sharing stories of young co-workers like yes. Tara and Yvonne. And Yvonne, yes. Just so many women uh, in general, but you know, to have our co-workers here and to share their personal story and they are bonded. They're bonded for life. Yes. Yeah. For We're sure. all bonded. Yeah. We're so glad yeah. that you're yeah, here. Thank you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and sharing your story and now you've become an advocate. I have and I really think that what Reba said is so important. Like I wasn't 40. I was 37. I wasn't yeah. getting mammograms. This wasn't on my radar and I knew that it had to be checked and I just want to encourage everyone if something feels wrong get it checked. You know, as women we tend to put mm. ourselves on the back burner and you have to put yourself first when it comes to matters like this and be proactive. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're so glad you're yeah. here ladies we mentioned